Sports Network. Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson as the Eagles get out of Mars Hill with a 94-80 victory over the winless Lions. Chuck, a, a tenacious game at times, a bit of an odd game. You shoot lights out uh, when you do put the basketball into the air. It goes through the hoop more often than not, but also 21 turnovers. How would you typify this game? I'm, just, I'm, I'm reflecting on the word you just used, Ten, uh, tenacious. Was that you said? Yeah. What was the other word? I don't remember. It went in uh, and out. Only, only if tenacious means pathetic does it apply. Other, otherwise, it's, it's a poor choice of wording. This was in a, a complete embarrassment. Complete embarrassment. Uh, we deserved, in all honesty, we deserved to lose. Uh, uh, I don't know what the exact problem was today other than I do know the solution was Ish Sanders. If Ish Sanders doesn't come back to life, we just lost, period. Uh, we're this close to not celebrating Thanksgiving in this program. We're that close, that close. So uh, I hope, that, they, I hope that, that something happens between here and our return to Jefferson City tonight that changes my mind. Because that right there is not what this program's about. That exhibition is in no way what this program is going to be about. Period. How, how do you mean then? What good shooting performance, uh, but sloppy? What's the What's the idea then? Um, there was a there was a uh, pervasive selfishness, uh, a lack of team first, which is something that we have built this thing on, uh, and a uh, almost a sense of. Um, Maybe entitlement that, you know, we, we just can show up at games, uh, disrespect uh, our, our, our preparation, disrespect our plan, disrespect each other with our with our effort, uh, and that's that's about what it was. Uh, we're not going to coach effort here. That's not going to be that. We're not doing that. You'll either play hard or you won't play, and then you won't be here. You know, and and and, and tonight there were a lot of there was a lot of begging, begging guys to play, and that that that, that was so disheartening. But unbelievably disheartening to see that because I have a great deal of respect for these players and for this team and for this program and where we've gotten it to. And for us to come out tonight uh, for no reason, for, for, for no good reason. In fact, we should be extra hungry after getting our rear ends kicked at Coker. And we come in here and act like, we, uh, um, like we're God's gift to the game. You start out the, the contest slow. Coker cans four of their first six threes, takes an eight-point lead, but a – a 27 to 13 scoring spurt, if you will, from the final four minutes of the first half through the first four minutes of the second half. Was there something that turned the tide uh, there that enabled you to do what you needed to do, or was it anything? Or just shots started look, falling? You look, man. Uh, we made some shots. Okay, we made some shots, uh, and we can make shots. But everything, every other thing about this game, every other thing doesn't work. Is, is not enough to win another game this year. Every other thing about it. Uh, we are nothing. I'm telling you, if Ish Sanders doesn't return tonight, <laughs> we just got beat. No question about it. No question. And um, I can handle losing. I can't handle uh, poor effort. The, the, the effort, the, the both mental and physical, uh, that I saw from too many guys, too many critical guys. Our, 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 what do we have, uh, our seven veterans, uh, completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. Our new guys, I'm going to give them a break. The veterans, no way. You look at it, it's the game before Thanksgiving. It's a Mars Hill team that's winless and giving up 108. Does that play into, is it a psychological thing, or is this a, an ongoing uh, issue that started at we, Coker? Okay, listen, we won four games, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we played horrifically in our own classic. Uh, I think I said something uh, more or less this, this same conversation we've had already yeah. this year. We've already had this same conversation we're having now. That's not good. And at the end of the day, it's on me. It's on me. Uh, we'll take the steps necessary to try to get it corrected. But in any endeavor where you have multiple people involved, everybody's got to want to get, to, to get a solution. And, and, and uh, just based on what I saw tonight, uh, for the first time in a long time, I would almost question uh, where some guys' minds are. I would almost question that. And, and Cav, I hope you're right. I hope it's a, it's it's about it's about turkey and dressing and cranberry sauce and all the fixings. I hope that's what it's about. But knowing that we went to Coker and got beat, and that we, in the last couple of years in particular, 
In fact, in every the, the, three, the years I've been here, we've been really good about when we when we have lost a game, we've come back with a resiliency right. to try to correct the to correct the problem. Whether we did or not was was second it was secondary. We were trying to correct. I didn't see that tonight for the first time. Stopping the head coach here, and um, you know that's 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 unacceptable. Starts with me, right on down. I'll get I will get my part of it done. Uh, they've got to get their part of it done because we are a team. We are a team. We talk about team. We got to act like team. Chuck, pleasure as always. We will talk to you tomorrow. The Chuck Benson Show airs at 1 p.m. special airing at Gondolier uh, tomorrow on cneagles.com slash live. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.